it is getting ready to be so good for you. You have so much coming. You have really put in so much work when it comes to your life in general, developing yourself, developing your brand, developing your spirituality, developing your level of professionalism, just great things. And I know many of you have heard a word from the Lord about specific things that God is going to do for you. You know what? If you're anything like me, when I have good news, something I want to share with my kids or one of my best friends, I just want to be, I'm eager to tell. Because who wouldn't want to tell good news? But I want to encourage you to do this. If God has given you something that you know that is unfolding in your life, I want you not to tell a soul. Because sometimes when we say stuff too early, it just messed stuff up. And I want you to know this too. Some people that you may tell stuff to may start praying against you. I know that it doesn't seem like people would actually do this, but people would actually do this. I want you to know this too, that sometimes when you give people information, they will literally, not only will they start praying against you, they will start sending negative energy sometimes towards you to get you to fall or to make sure that what you share with them, that it doesn't manifest in your life. Because I want you to know that it is a lot of men and a lot of women practicing like witchcraft, things like that, diving into things like that. And I know it seems like, girl, no, they're not. Yes, they do. I know for a fact that they do. And I know that for, for several times, someone's tried to send something here on me, but I am covered in the blood of Jesus Christ and I can tell it and I just return it right on back to sender. You have to be really careful with your words. You have to be really careful with the information that you share. You have to understand this, that if God is giving you something, it's best sometimes to nurture that, to care for that, to put everything that you can in that, and then allow the manifestation of that to speak for you. Because sometimes when we share information with people, everybody's not happy for you. Listen to me. They're not. They're not happy for you. Some people are genuinely happy for you. They are. But some people are not. And you're just in a place in your life where you can't be taking no chances. You've worked too hard. You've sacrificed too much. You've cried too much. You've been up late at night too much over this thing here. You have fasted too much. You've been on your knees praying about this too much. You have been in the zone when it comes to holiness too much to tell somebody something where they could just mess you up. Nurture your gift. Nurture your brand. Nurture whatever it is that God is giving you to do. Do it quietly and allow the work to speak for itself. I don't know who that's for tonight, but I just know sometimes we want to share stuff, especially when it's something good. Because I can say that you, a lot of you, have so many good things coming your way. I know that this has been a crazy year. I would say it's been a crazy four years for many of us in the U.S. in general. It really has. We have seen so many things happen in our environment. We've seen so many people enter into our environment. We've seen so many people get more things than we do as citizens over here. We see more people who don't even have a citizenship getting more things than we're getting. But the good news is, is that you're linked to an infinite God that supply will never run dry. And within you is a storehouse that's linked to him. And there's some good things that he is doing in your life in spite of our own people that's in charge over here not caring about us. God cares enough about you to divinely protect you and to produce all kinds of miraculous fruit through you. 
So it's just important while you're in the process of doing things to just hold your peace, be quiet, and continue to work. Continue to pray, continue to fast, continue to seek God on everything that you do. Because I'm telling you, it's some good stuff going to happen for you. And I'm so excited. I cannot wait for somebody to drop it in the comments or send me an email. I've already got emails from people who really have manifested great things in their lives. They have worked silently and stayed tapped in to this community because they understand that thoughts are seeds. They understand that thoughts are spiritual and so are your words and so are your emotions. And so that's why it's so important for us to focus on the things above and not worry about the things below that's just straight crazy right now. Let God handle that. And we have to learn to just be quiet. <sighs> Whew, that was something I had to learn to do. Just because God was like, Shonda, you're talking too much. Stop telling me. Be quiet. So I'm just <laughs> quiet. Okay? Just trust me. Trust me when I'm telling you this tonight. Be quiet and watch the Lord not only fight your battles, but watch the Lord produce greatness through you. I'm so sleepy. I love you guys. Mm -hmm. Peace. Good night.